Good day, sir and classmates. We are here to report about the Mega World Corporation, and here's our first presenter, Mr. Dale Pangat. History Mega World Properties and Holdings Corporation was founded by Andrew Tan and incorporated under the Philippine law on August 24, 1989, primarily aimed at engaging in real estate development, leasing, and marketing. In 1994, expand of Empire Island Holdings Incorporation, which focused on the middle income market, it was converted to a public company on July 15, 1994. On August 19, 1999, the company changed its name to Mega World Corporation in line with its conversion from a purely real estate company to a holding company. True, the company's core focus continues to be a real estate. In 2013, the company gained full acquisition of SunTrust Properties. Andrew Tan has served as chairman of the board and president of the company since its corporation in 1989. Megaware renewed its congressional franchise for another 25 years on July 26, 2014, one day after celebrating their silver anniversary. Under the Philippine law, this real estate development company will operate with franchise from the Philippine Congress an authority that limits and regulates development and operations of condominiums, hotels, and shopping centers. Andrew Tan is a Chinese-Filipino billionaire with business interests in real estate, decor, and fast food. In 2011, Forbes magazine rated him fourth on the list of the Philippines' 40 riches, with an estimated net worth of $2 billion. As of May 2018, Forbes magazine ranks him at the 10th wealthiest person in the Philippines with its net worth of 2.6 billion US dollars. Properties The Megaware Corporation was numerous development throughout the Philippines, ranging from malls, Megaware lifestyle malls, offices, townships, hotels, resorts, gaming services, and residential developments. It also owns companies such as the Megaware Lifestyle Malls, Inherited Developments, Empire Eastland Holdings Incorporation, targeting the middle income market, and the SunTrust Properties Incorporation. Its subsidiary is called Empire Island Holdings Incorporation and SunTrust Properties. It was dubbed by the Finance Asia, a business tabloid, as the best managed company and the best in corporate governance in the Philippines for 2006. Vision and Mission Vision Statement We uplift lives, impact society, and help shape the nation. Mission Statement We pioneer concepts that promote integrated lifestyles. In townships, we will we advocate responsible stewardship of the environment. We deliver long-term value for our employees and shareholders. We spur economic growth all over the country. Organizational goals. Our goal is to contribute to the country's development by supporting causes that promote poverty alleviation, people empowerment, environment conservation, and other noble undertakings. Pioneer ideas encouraging integrated lifestyles within the townships we are creating, promoting responsible environmental stewardship to provide long-term values for our workers and shareholders to spur economic growth throughout the region. Venice Grand Canal Venice Grand Canal is a lifestyle mall development under Megaville Lifestyle Malls located inside the 50 hectare McKinley Hills Township of Mega World Corporation in Port Bonifacio, Taguig City, awarded the Best Retail Architectural Design at the Philippine Properties Award in 2017. Venice Grand Canal is then known for its design architecture and is properly considered as the most romantic mall in the country. Living up to its namesake, the mall supports Italian-inspired architectural design inspired by the Grand Canal in the classical city of Venice, Italy. In designing the mall, Megaworld consulted the Rome-based architectural firm Paolo Parioni Architecto to ensure that Venice Grand Canal Mall stays true to its Venetian inspiration. Highlighting the mall is the man-made Grand Canal. The most Grand Canal offers mall guests an Italian experience with gondola ride or by singing gondoliers. The mall also has a replica of St. Mark Campanile in Piazza San Marco the Rialto Bridge, which is inspired by the famous beach in Venice and the Ponte de Amor Bridge, where mall guests can participate at the mall's lab lock installation. Lucky Chinatown Lucky Chinatown is a lifestyle mall development 
Mayor World Lifestyle Mall is located along Reina Rente Street, corner de la Reina Street in Bonondo, Manila. Awarded the Shopping Center of the Year by the Philippine Retailers Association in 2015, Lucky Chinatown is the first full-scale lifestyle mall in the world's oldest Chinatown. It is designed to offer a blend of history, tradition, modern shopping and dining and leisure experience. The power level 108,000 square meter shopping mall is envisioned as a heritage project that promotes Binod's tradition and commerce and tourism during modern times. Forbes Town Center Forbes Town Center is a 15 billion peso, 5 hectare mega township in Fort Bonifacio. It is one of the main landmarks emerging in Metro Manila's newest central business district. Forbes Town Center has 12 residential towers which house more than 3,500 residential units. The community is adjacent to Manila Polo Club, Manila Golf and Country Club, Forbes Park and the Smyrna's Village. Residents thus have a panoramic half-kilometer long view of the Manila Golf Course. The focal point of activity in Forbes Town Center is the amply named Forbes Town Road, a retail strip with 37 restaurants and shops that cater to the diverse needs of the residents of the community's three Deliago Towers, six towers of Forbes Wood Heights, two towers of Forbes Wood Park Lane, and 53-story 8 Forbes Town Road. This is connected to another Fort Bonifacio landmark, Burgos Circle, a leisure spot with residential condominiums and a small park. These commercial centers, along with each of the condominiums' convenient location and top-notch resort-style amenities, form a lifestyle of absolute leisure. Newport Mall Newport Mall is a lifestyle mall located inside Resort Group Manila Complex in Newport City, Pasay City. The fourth level complex features an area of high fashion boutiques and luxury brands such as Swarovski, Rolex, Bulgari, and Salvatore. It also specializes in high end restaurants serving different from Filipino, Asian, Mediterranean, and European cuisines such as Cafe Maxims, Marriott Cafe, Impressions, and Fashion. For entertainment, Newport Most offers 24 hours weekend movie screening in its four cinemas. While the Mega World Lifestyle Mall's signatures, Ultra Cinemas features a close private cubicles, fully reclining seats, unlimited popcorn and drinks, and butler service. Eastwood Malls, awarded the best shopping center of the year in 2010 and 2012 by the Philippine Retailers Association. Eastwood Malls is a four-level lifestyle mall that houses chef-driven restaurants offering alfresco dining as well as state-of-the-art cinemas. The mall also houses a roster of locals and international fashion brands and establishment with 47,000 square meters of retail spaces. The mall also has an expansive open space, the Eastwood Mall Open Park, which has a lagoon and dancing fountain show. This is the primary venue for large community events such as an annual New Year's Eve countdown. Eastwood Mall also houses four state-of-the-art cinemas, including Mega World Signature Ultra, Cinema, which features two person seat, unlimited popcorn and drinks delivered by a button activated personal butler service. It is also the first shopping center in the Philippines to welcome pets and was inducted in the Order of the Platinum Paw by the Philippine Animal Welfare Society. Uptown Mall Uptown Mall is a flagship lifestyle mall development of Mega World Corporation under the Mega World Lifestyle Mall brands. The five-level lifestyle mall anchors Mega World's Uptown Bonifacio Township located at the northern part of Fort Bonifacio in Taguig City. It hosts a variety of lifestyle, leisure, retail, and entertainment offering from local brands to international establishments. The mall serves as a podium of the four-tower Uptown Corporate Center Office Towers, anchored by Pro Life UK and other support services tenants. The mall has five levels, including a lower ground level and six basement parking levels, starting from the lower ground basement to basement six. Festive Walk Mall Festive Walk Mall, or Festive Walk Iloilo, is a lifestyle mall development under Mega World Lifestyle Mall located along Mega World Boulevard inside the 72 hectare Iloilo Business Park Township of Mega World Corporation in Iloilo City. Launched in 2018, the three-level mall has 90,000 square meters of gross floor area and it's Mega World's first and biggest full-scale lifestyle mall outside of Luzon, featuring a design inspired by Ilongo's love for the arts, culture, and celebration. Festive Walk Mall won the highest 
recommended award for the best retail architectural design at the 2018 Philippine Property Awards. Festive Walk Mall As directly connected via covered walkways to the Festive Walk Mall Annex, Festive Walk Parade, the Iloilo Business Park, Transport Hub, and Iloilo Museum of Contemporary Arts. The Village Square Alabang The Village Square Alabang is a community mall by Mega World's Lifestyle Mall located at Alabang Zapote Road, Las Piñas City. It is Mega World's 15th lifestyle mall. The two-level mall spans 9,000 square meters of commercial space. It is one of Mega World's neighborhood commercial centers located near the community of Las Piñas City and the nearby residential communities in Montilupa City and Paranaque City. Aside from providing retail options, the lifestyle hub is directly connected to a 12-level business process outsourcing office towers and a four-story parking facility. Hi guys, my name is Rafael Uyun Oriol III and I am about to discuss the five phases of project management. So they discussed about the Mega World Corporation and here I am. We have five phases of project management according to PMI. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to a broad range of activities in order to meet the requirements of a particular project. There are five phases of project management and if the life cycle provides a high level view of the project, the phases are the roadmap to accomplishing it. So we have five phases which is the initiation, the planning, execution, the performance and control, and the closing. So we are on phase one, project initiation. This is the start of the project and the goal of this phase is to define the project at a broad level. This phase usually begins with a business care. This is when you will research whether the project is feasible and if it should be undertaken. If feasibility, test, feasibility testing needs to be done, this is the stage of the project in which that will be completed. So, in business, initiation can be, on, can be answered the question why. Why do we need to build it? For leisure, what is their purpose? Their objectives? What bracket of people is their target? And I always come here in uptown BGC and I must say it is a high-class shopping mall in engineering our first step is to study the soil beneath the said project classifying the soil by geotech whether it is a good venue for the project for like a four-story building mall or mall but uptown mall in BGC has a solid rock now you will put all the studies that would suffice your said project in this stage. Then we are on to the next phase. So we are at phase two, which is project planning. This phase is key to successful project management and focuses on developing a roadmap that everyone will follow. This phase typically begins with setting goals. Two of the more popular methods for setting goals are smart and clear goals. So SMART goals are being specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. I studied these SMART goals in engineering management. This is the phase of how you do the project, of how to achieve your project with a limited time and money. Next is the clear goals, which means collaborative, limited, emotional, appreciable, and refinable. At this time, roles and responsibilities are clearly defined, so everyone involved, involved knows what they are accountable for. Here are some of the documents a, a project manage, manager will create during this phase to ensure the project will stay on track. So we need to have scope statements, work breakdown schedule or WBS. The, our mi milestone, milestones, <laughs> Gantt chart, 
communication plan and risk management plan. Always include the risk management plan. These are the events that are unforeseeable or not predicted. You got to plan it out before executing because when it happens, thinking a solution on the face of this execution will be a big loss of time. So be careful and always reassess the goals of your work and the goals of others' work. In summary, you have to balance your resources, which includes time and effort, and prepare for the next stage. Hey guys, so it's phase 3, and phase 3 is the project execution. So this is the phase where deliverables are developed and completed. This often feels like the meat of the project since a lot is happening during this time like status reports and meetings development updates and performance performance reports a kickoff meeting usually marks the start of the project execution phase where the teams involved are informed of their responsibilities the task co completed during the execution phase includes the develop develop team, assign resources, execute project management plans, procurement management, project manager directs and manages, set up tracking systems, task assignments are executed, status, uh, status meetings, update project schedule and modify project plans as needed. In science, this is the time when you experiment, experiment, while in engineering, this phase is building time and tracking time. So it's phase four and phase four is about project performance or monitoring. This is all about measuring project progression and performance and ensuring that everything happens happening aligns with the project management plan. Project managers will use key performance indicators or KPIs to determine if the project is on track. A PM will typically pick two to five of these KPIs to measure project performance. Okay. Project objectives, measuring a Measuring if a project is on schedule and budget is an indication if the project will meet stakeholder objectives. Second is the quality deliverables. This determines the specific task deliverables are being met. Third is the effort and cost tracking. PMs will account for the effort and cost of resources to see if the budget is on track. This type of tracking informs if a project will meet its completion date based on current performance and project performance. This monitors changes in the project. It takes into consideration the amount and types of issues that arise and how quickly they are addressed. This can occur from unforeseen hurdles and scope changes. After execution, the project manager will assess the whole infrastructure or the whole product. If all the planned standards are being met, same, go, same goes with their team's performance, costing of the finished product and its quality. So uh, we, on, we are on to the next and last phase. Phase 5 is the project closure. This phase represents the completed project. Contractors hard to work specifically on the project are terminated at this time. A valuable team members are recognized. Some PMs even recognize small work events for people who participated in the project to thank them for their for their efforts. Once a project is complete, a PM will often hold a meeting, sometimes referred to as a post-mortem to evaluate what went well in a project and identify project failures. This is especially helpful to understand lessons learned so that improvements can be made for future projects. Once the project is complete, PMs still have a few tasks to complete. 
they will need to create a project punch list of things that they didn't get accomplished during the project and the work with team members to complete them. Perform a final project budget and prepare a final project report. Finally, they will need to collect all project documents and deliverables and store them in a single place. So that's how you end it. Thank you. Thank you.